Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel with another Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the videos, man. Let's get to today's topic. We're going to talk about that Ravens game status, man. Who is actually in line to play versus the Cleveland Browns this upcoming weekend, all right, for the Baltimore Ravens, all right? Now, it's kind of like yesterday. It's kind of a mixed bag of different things. You know, the Ravens got some good news. They got some bad news, all right? So bad news is Odell Beckham is still going to be out. Rashad Bateman, out. Uh, David Ojabo, uh, Dafe Owe, out. No, no shot of them coming back this week. Marlon Humphrey, once again, out. So we're looking at week five. So really, Marlon Humphrey is a guy that could have been placed on IR because he ended up missing the first four weeks of the season anyway. Uh, they tried to give him a shot to come back. It just didn't work out. Hopefully, you know, he'll, back, he'll be back week five. You know what I mean? But we don't know until we get that first day of he's out there practicing. When we get that first day he's out there practicing, then we can say something. Until then, no. All right. Um, but there are questionables on here, all right? Well, actually, no, let's start with the guy who's been a full participant all week. That's Gus Edwards. He cleared concussion protocol. He had no injury designation. Gus Edwards will be suiting up for the Ravens versus Cleveland. Great news. We need it. We need that punch in the run game. Glad to have Gus out there, all right? Speaking of the run game, Justice Hill was a full participant in today's practice. They listed him as questionable. Kyle Hamilton was a full participant in today's uh, practice. They also said him as questionable. Now, with both of those guys being full participants, you have to measure that they're going to play, right? Uh, Kyle Hamilton, I didn't even really know that he picked up an injury, so I'm glad that you know he was able to work back from it. So, like, he's going to play for sure. And Justice Hill is probably going to be out there as well. I think I said it in yesterday's video. The Ravens missed what Justice Hill can do out, out of the backfield. Yes, Kendrick was out there, did some things. Uh, but I think Justice Hill and Gus Edwards is a is the one-two punch that the Ravens really want to roll with for right now. And then, hey, going forward, the Ravens could add back a guy like Keith Mitchell as well, who's supposed to be coming off for IR um, next week as well. So, Ravens run game should be getting back to more of what we're used to seeing, all right? Okay. Now, also questionable, Ty Linderbaum and Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams is, a, once again, a full participant. So he's going to play, which is an amazing part of his recovery. I know I see on Twitter that some fans are um, concerned about maybe is he rushing back, this and that. Listen, it's football. If he is rushing back, you know, then he'll be hurt again and he'll probably be out for the season. But at the end of the day, these guys are going to try to play the games, you know. As much as um, the medical team looks out for them, it's still up to them sometimes to whether or not they're going to play. So if Marcus Williams feels like he can manage the pain and come back and still be an effective football player, He's going to give his best to try and do that. You know, that's just how the NFL is. You know what I mean? Uh, these guys don't really want to sit and rest and uh, miss too many games. It's only 17 games. You know what I mean? Um, so they're going to be out there and try to play. So Marcus Williams, I hope he's out there as close to 100% as he can be because obviously he still has something going on with the pack. But he's going to give his all. He's going to, he's going to try as hard as I think that Marcus Williams at 80%, 70% and still have a player. And so it's something that the Ravens could very, very, you, very well use. So I'm happy about that. All right, um, questionable. Uh, Tyler Linderbaum. He's been he's been limited all week. I think he's going to play. I don't know for sure, but it seems like they're wrapping him up slowly. And the Ravens and Lamar Jackson will be very very happy to see Tyler Linderbaum back if that's the case. So I think he's going to play. Hopefully he does. But yeah, his other officer, but his officer line and running mate Ronnie Stanley was listed today as doubtful. So he did not practice today after being limited in back-to-back -back days. Then comes back on Friday, DMP. So um, when when guys used to get that doubtful, I just have in my mind 80% chance he's not playing. You know what I mean? It might be a 20% chance that he sneaks in there, but I'm going to say that the Ravens are going to have to face Miles Garrett and this very, very good Cleveland defensive line without their best offensive lineman than Ronnie Stanley. Um, it's unfortunate, but that's like how it's going to crumble, how cookie going to crumble right now. So, um, he's out of there. Uh, but listen, if they can get Tyler Linderbaum back and at least get the center position um, shored up with a guy that Lamar Jackson trusts, um, the snap's going to be on point. That was an issue last week. Um, the protection calls, the knowing where to slide. Obviously, Lamar Jackson handles a lot of that at the line himself, but Tyler Linderbaum is smart and can help out with that as well. You know what I mean? With Sam Mustafer. Um, just kind of being a backup, getting that, uh, that running with Lamar Jackson, it probably wasn't on his plate. You know, with Tyler Bum, he can, he can fully take care of that. So I'm hoping that he's back. I'm hoping that the Ravens can, you know, protect better than they did last week. 
because honestly, they're going against a better front than they did last week, you know. So, all right, but that's your Ravens uh, game status report. We do it one more time. Rashad Bateman, Odell Beckham out. Uh, Marlon Humphrey out. David Ojabo, Dafe Owe out. So that's going to be a lot of pressure on, you know, your uh, uh, Tavius Robinson, your Jadavion Clownies, uh, Moon. You know, he's going to probably be active again. So it's going to be a lot of pressure on those guys to produce, okay? Uh, your questionable guys, you got Kyle Hamilton, Justice Hill, Tyler Underbaum, Marcus Williams. Now, three of those four guys are going to play for sure. Justice Hill, um, Kyle, Justice Hill, Kyle Hamilton, Marcus Williams are going to play for sure. Uh, we're still up in the air on Tyler Underbaum. I think he'll play. And you got one doubtful guy, that is uh, Ronnie Stanley, who's probably not going to play. And one guy with no injury designation at all, that's Gus the Bus. He'll be back in full effect on Sunday when the Ravens take on the Browns. So, that's the injury report for today. Uh, that's the game status. Ravens, once again, some good news, some bad news, some pieces coming back, some pieces lost. Um, at the end of the day, you got to adjust. And if you truly believe in the next man up mentality, that's what it is. Next man up. Ravens got to make these plays. You really don't want I mean, it's still early in the season. So I can't say you don't want to fall to 2-2. Two and two, But Cleveland, it's a division game. So it's, it's, it's worth a win and a half, a loss and a half, you know. So... You want to win these kind of games in the division. Um, Browns aren't going to make it easy. I know, the, I think they said that Sean Watson dealing with some kind of shoulder injury right now. It looks like he's going to play, but that's something also to keep, to keep uh, watch out for. So, uh, but yeah, that's the Ravens game status, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think on the video. Uh, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you down there, man. Gary, this is on Fan TV. I'm out.